Greetings, family. It's Empress D. Wow, family, look at this. I'm in nature, and, and oh my. So this is usually where I walk, okay? So it's all like it's some kind of river. Um, this is flooded. I can't even do my walk. I'm gonna try to go a little further, but I can't. Do you see the geese? They're like chilling because they feel like it's a river. Do you see the picnic tables, family? They're almost covered with water, right? This is no joke. We're flooded out here, um, but it's all good. You know, I have my rubber boots in my trunk all the time, so that's what's up. I got them on and I'm waiting out here in this water and I'm out here in lovely nature. I'm gonna try to do a bit more of a walk uh, before I head out, but I have a beautiful spot. I've been sun gazing. Um, I don't know, I can't flip it to show you guys. I don't know, maybe I can. Um, I've been sun gazing, it's wonderful. And also I've been, like my feet are in ice, right? I, I'm in ice. Oh, you guys can get the sun, it's wonderful. And I'm in ice, I'm standing in ice. So like I've got ice chunks all around me. On my feet so it's very interesting out here family this is what's up but it's beautiful nonetheless i hope you guys are getting a chance to get out in nature i really do that's what i promote every day because it's it's serene listen to the sound though like i'm just out here chilling of course the planes are distracting somewhat but the animals and the water right it's just nice it's nice to be out here um and of course i hope you guys are doing something every day to improve yourself um something every day to to make yourself feel better make yourself feel more accomplished uh, to strive towards something that you wanted to to do um to strive towards a goal come on family every day is the first day of the rest of your life a, a new day to start something new or, or, or work towards a challenge right fam i hope we're all um, engaging at, in something like that at that at this point very very important um so yeah i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are, are well and and are navigating through these interesting times um so much going on around us um you know politically um economically um interpersonally it's it's so many dynamics going on some some of us with our health right um yeah so much going on so much going on interpersonally and within ourselves you know it's 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 a really interesting time to be on the planet and I hope everybody's coping well through it, okay? Um, I even dare to say I hope you're thriving um, through this complicated, challenging time, okay? Um, I wanna talk about the law of compensation again. I know we went over the, the 12 universal laws and, and the law of compensation is the one that I, I I'm out here and, and I'm just thinking and, and one of the things I'm thinking in is thinking about today or I was thinking about today as I've, I've been with myself is how it's so true. The work you put into something is what you get out of it, family. And and I know for some some things and some tasks and and some roles in life it's that work that work is never ending you're, you're you're putting in you're putting in you're putting in and you're getting very little out at least that's for the time being but i'm telling you family what you invest in something is what you get out in return you'll get if you invest a hundred percent you will get a hundred percent at the very minimum in return i'm telling you family where people get caught up in, in not knowing this is that sometimes it takes time. And when I say time, it may take years, maybe even decades to reap that benefit of that, that work, right? But you will. And I, and I say this um, through experience, right? I, I'm right now reaping the rewards of, of work I put in decades ago. Okay, family? And I'm telling you, family, it's real. So whatever you believe in, whatever you know to be true, whatever you feel strongly about, whatever you are passionate about, put that work in, put that effort in, put that focus on. 
um, the, and, and you will be rewarded. You will. Sometimes it takes a while to reap that benefit. But if it's something that you believe in, something you're passionate about, participate in it. Put the time in it. Put the effort in it. Do the research about it. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It doesn't matter if anybody thinks it makes sense to do it that way. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It's about what you think. And if you believe strongly about something, if you have a passion that you've always, always thought about it and, and you've, you've, you've thought about it well and this is the way you want to go about it and you want to do it, do it. Don't worry about what anybody says, family. Because I guarantee one day you will reap the benefit of that effort. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because the universe reveals its secrets to those who dare to follow their heart. Ralph Smart, the great Ralph Smart says that all the time. And I don't know if he gets it from somebody else, but I get it from him. And it rings so true. And, it, and, it, and it's in alignment with what I've been sharing today, family. It's whatever you're passionate about, do it. Research it. Spend time on it. Nurture it because you will reap those benefits one day okay in one way or the other right family and sometimes we reap the benefits not in a way that we imagined that we would would but nonetheless we are reaping from the investment of time and energy right and i'm and i'm not just saying this to say this i'm saying this through experience and i'm only sharing with with you family what i've experienced and what i know to be true through my experience right i can't i can only vet it out in that way um, I can learn it, read it, hear about it, um, all I want, but I won't know it to be true until I live it, right? And I, I try to be very careful about what I share in terms of advice, and, I, and I'm sharing with you because I've lived it. This is through lived experience, right, fam? So, yeah, um, what we put in is what we get out, and it goes with everything, family. So, what we put into our garden, right? The energy, the time, the effort, the, the research, the fertilizer is what we'll get out in terms of our, our harvest, right? Our, 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 our fruits will be sweeter, our, our vegetables will be, be richer in it. You know, it, it, it's, it's what we put in, right? What we put into it is what we get out of it. And that's what I'm trying to say. It's with anything in life, right? So with our, with our schoolwork, right? If, if that's our thing, with our studies, our, our formal studies, with our families, right? With our relationships, with our work, with our career, right? And it's so true. It's so true. You get out what you put in. Um, it's with anything. With our diet, right? If we are, if we are really careful with it, we and our efforts, we get out. What, we get the results of, in in return of what we put in. Our exercise routine, our, our, our meditation chat practices, everything, family, we get it, it. The more consistent we are, when we, we put time we put in and the investment we put in things, we get that, we reap those rewards from it, whatever those rewards would, may be. And it's just a fact. So if, if we're sitting here and not putting time and energy into anything specific day in and day out, how are we going to reap rewards? We're not putting in anything in terms of, a deliberate action and focus to, to make something happen or to to really nurture something or or to hmm, to foster growth in something that's all it is really right um and so family we have to be doing something deliberately every day to to nourish and grow our souls right that's just what i think and and sometimes it's hard to know what those things are but but if we're still in quiet with ourselves and really pay attention, we, we know, we know inside and it doesn't take too long to figure it out. And that's why I recommend doing things like coming out in nature just by yourself, because that alone time for with you and your thoughts, um, it kind of helps to clarify things and, and really hone in on really what is really our voice and not the voice of all of the external stimuli. stimuli around us right our families the the media our friends expectations all of the the above right we want to really not make decisions based on all of those but based on what's inside and what we feel about things and right and that's why time in nature or meditation and times when you're just still and able to just be quiet and shut out everything else help us to kind of connect with ourselves and know with ourselves and sorry connect ourselves and know connect with ourselves and know ourselves right and that's the whole challenge of being on the planet, right? Knowing thyself, like we keep coming back to it. 
And so that's why I encourage the practices I do. And, 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 and it's always whatever you, the work you put in, you get something out. So on the contrary, I, it's impossible to me to, for somebody to put a lot of work into something and get nothing out of it. I, I, I've never seen it happen. Right, it's to say an athlete who works out every day, works out every day, works out every day, works out every day, and doesn't see no changes. That's that. It's not possible, right? You're going to see changes. Um, somebody who's changed their diet, they they really legitimately have changed their diet. Not telling people they've changed their diet and doing whatever, but no, legitimately, like accountable to themselves, have changed their diet. They're going to see changes. They're going to see changes. They're going to see changes in how they feel. They're going to see changes in how they look, their body composition, right? They're going to see changes, right? And so you, you, you can't put work and effort into something and not yield a result is what I'm trying to say. And so we also have to recognize those who put a lot of work and effort into certain things because they have to yield a certain type of result, right? It's just inevitable. It's just like a, a law, a, a universal law. It's just what you put in, you, you put out. Yeah, it is that law of compensation. It brings us right back, you know, to what we're talking about today is um, the law of compensation. So that's what I was sitting here and contemplating here, family, as I'm enjoying this wonderful day in nature and enjoying the... I, I like these are the things that go through my mind I'm gonna share with you family like when I'm out here and I'm walking I'm so grateful that I have all four limbs that are intact and able to come out and enjoy this there are so many people that don't have that blessing right I'm I, you know and I, I would be I would be I would be really huh, you know it would take me a, re a lot a while to adjust if something had happened and I didn't have the mobility that I have to come and explore nature like this, right? Because this is something that I'm really grateful for because a lot of us aren't, aren't able to. They wish they could and they can't, just physically they can't, right? And so this is just one of the things that I, that I, that I, I, I'm, I give great gratitude for every day as I'm walking because I am fit and healthy enough to be able to take all of this in, right, family? Oh my goodness. Anyway, thank you, family. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this message. I hope you guys are well. I really do. And, I, and I'm and i sending you guys all loving and, and healing energy. I, I need you guys to really take care of yourself and take that energy and, and use it to help take care of yourself and elevate yourself and get to know yourself, right? So... <laughs> For those of you that take the time to listen to this message, I am grateful for you. I'm really grateful to you. I can't even get the words out. I am really grateful to you. I'm grateful that you take the time to listen to this message. I hope that if it's even just one person out there that finds these words helpful and, and help them like to, to level up in some way, that's all like that's what I'm here for. That's what that's what the whole thing is, right? That's what I think that the universe has compelled me to do this in order to, to affect that type of change, right? So I'm hoping that there's 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 somebody out there that's that these words are helping, right? So to those of you that take the time to listen to this message, I'm really grateful to you. And um I really love and I value each and every one of you, okay family? Take good care of yourselves, okay? One love. <laughs>